people get involved in your campaign. They say, you know what? I love this woman. I love what she's doing. She's fighting for us. This is John Villarreal reporting for Conservative New Media. Yes, I am bad, but that's what makes me oh so good. I am the conservative outlaw. Hey, what about that uh, that interview with uh, Sharon Angle? How awesome was that? She sounds really fired up out there in Nevada, and I think that Reed is going to get retired. But we're short on time right now, so without further ado, let's go to this hot interview that we had exclusively with Peter Farrar yesterday of the American Spectator. We're going to not play all of it. It's a tease. We're going to play some of it, and we're going to have the whole thing, which is about 30 minutes, up on conservative media on youtube on our youtube channel we have the first video up now we'll have all the four videos up by the end of the weekend let's get a snippet of what peter ferrara had to say about the disgrace of the ruling class we'll away this video and audio for the john d Villarreal syndicated radio show on the conservative new media radio network we are pleasantly joined right now by peter ferrara Peter has served both in the Reagan administration and in George Bush Sr. administration as Deputy Attorney General there. He is a graduate of Harvard and Harvard Law School. He just wrote an unbelievable piece for the American Spectator called The Disgrace of the Ruling Class. We will link to that and, and Peter's extensive biography, which I'm sure I have not nowhere close to fully captured, in the description below. If you click on the link, which is near the view counter, you can check that out now. Peter, what made you write this piece and give us a sense of what this piece says and what you're trying to say? Well, I mean, it starts off by talking about the terrible results of Obamanomics. Uh, we uh, just last week uh, report that the uh, poverty rate is soaring uh, to record levels now. There's more people in poverty now in America than ever before uh, in history, uh, in rec uh, recorded as recorded by the Census Bureau. They've been keep, since they've been keeping track of poverty in the United States. 44 million Americans in poverty is now the most at any time uh, uh, in the 51 years they've been keeping track of poverty. The poverty rate soars upward to 14.3%. Uh, uh, 14, uh, 14 uh, and this is just the way it's been a series of uh, uh, unfolding disasters. Uh, you have the uh, unemployment rate where 32 months after the uh, uh, 32 months after the uh, uh, recession started, we find that the economy, uh, according to last year's uh, August labor uh, unemployment uh, report, uh, the, the economy is still losing jobs. The unemployment rate is still rising. 32 months after the recession started. Now, uh, before the, uh, previously, the longest recession uh, in, 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 in uh, post since World War II uh, has been 16 months. The after recession was 10 months. So here we are, 32 months after the recession started, and uh, and we're still losing jobs. And uh, you know, the National Bureau of Economic Research uh, estimated the recession is officially ending, but the uh, the fact is that we're still losing jobs, and the unemployment rate is still rising. And uh, but that's still be happening 32 months after uh, uh, the recession started. It's, it's, a, it's a disgraceful failure. Uh, then we have the uh, foreclosure rate. Uh, uh, foreclosures are continuing uh, last month in August at record levels. The yeah, poverty uh, is continuing to shoot up. Uh, and uh, uh, so it, this is the disaster of this uh, Obamanomics. And then you have uh, the economic growth that we do have. And we see a, a continuing downward spiral. In the last quarter uh, of last year, uh, the, uh, the economic growth was 5%. The first quarter of this year, it was down to 3.6%. Uh, Second quarter of this year, it's down to 1.6%. So we seem to be headed in the wrong direction. We're heading downward, uh, back to back into a potential uh, double dip recession. Uh, and uh, uh, so this is the utter failure of what should have been seen as a, uh, a, a backward-looking economic policy going back to the Keynesian economics of the 1970s. And we seem to be getting the same results as the Keynesian economics of the 1970s. In fact, the most recent uh, market data is indicating that deflation is coming back. Gold uh, in the past week soared to uh, record levels. Uh, uh, silver to, uh, to record levels. Uh, commodity prices are soaring. All this is indicating that while we have this uh, sultry economy, at the same time, uh, we've got uh, inflation shooting up, upward. Uh, potentially, uh, seems to be on the horizon. The markets are flashing the danger of, uh, of, uh, of inflation arising. So we seem to be heading back to the results of the 1970s. That should not be a surprise since we've had the same uh, Keynesian economic policies of the 1970s. We've gone back pre-Reagan economics as if uh, 1980, nothing has happened since 1980. And all, we, you know, we saw 
probably went to President Obama that he's going to be the support of the progressive president. Instead, he, he's taking us uh, backwards. And one of the things they use is, uh, oh, the Republicans have no new ideas. What is the new idea that Barack Obama has? Yeah. All his ideas are from the 1970s or the 1930s. That's not new ideas. He seems to be insistent on taking us back to everything that's failed before. And so one of the sad uh, truths that we learn from our own experience with President Obama is that he does not learn from experience. And so, uh, uh, he, so you know, he continues to go back, going back to uh, uh, old, outdated policies, which he should have known would have been a failure. Now, I, I want to ask you about that. You know, Obviously, this, this I agree with you. I think this looks like, you know, New Deal type of stuff, Redux. I think it's Jimmy Carter Redux. And there we and go. Hopefully, we're not going to see stuff. You can get the rest of that right now by going to YouTube and typing in conservative new media. It's our first video up there. You got to check it out. It's really hot. We have three more videos coming with Peter. I'm telling you, this guy is brilliant. As we said in the video, he used to serve in the Reagan administration. He served in, the, in Bush Senior's administration as deputy attorney general. The guy went to Harvard and then Harvard Law School. Brilliant, brilliant man. He lays it all out. The disgrace of the ruling class. We got a couple minutes here for your calls. 1-866-770-5556. That's one 866 770 Five 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 six. Hit me quick. I want to know what you thought about the Sharon Angle interview. I want to know what you thought about the disgrace of the ruling class. I want you to hit me right now. We've got people in the chat room here. They love it. They think that Peter is a smart guy. We got uh, uh, Jay Reed that's saying yes. Totally agree. They love it. They're, the people are really excited about what's going on here in America about election 2010 coming up in November. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think that the Republicans are going to take it all? And what about Colbert? I mean, how do we get into that kind of situation when America is basically burning? When the uh, Harry Reid, let's talk about Harry Reid for a second. He adjourned the Senate, adjourned the Senate without extending the Bush tax cuts. Congress doesn't even have a budget. They're going home to campaign because these people have nothing uh, that they can run on. And they have, instead of doing the people's business and addressing the economy, they have Stephen Colbert up there like an idiot in character and the whole thing's a circus now what kind of country are we living in and yet they want to go there and attack someone a, a, a good woman like Sharon Angle who's a normal person looking to represent the people of Nevada they want to attack someone like uh, a Sarah Palin who did a great job in Alaska who's now a private citizen and they can't leave her and her family alone they have to some creep has to move in next door to write a hit piece of, uh, 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 on them and maybe he's bothering their neighbors. I don't know, but it looked kind of strange. And then they have to attack Christine O'Donnell out there and doing what we call a witch hunt in Delaware. And, oh, better not get involved, people, you tea partiers, you normal people out there. You're all idiots. You're rubes. We'll send Cole Rove on you. Because, gosh forbid, that the people actually get involved in their republic, that they exercise uh, you know, their right to vote and their right to participate and their First Amendment's right. I think uh, I think this is ridiculous. And I want to hear what you have to say about it. And I love it. We got Jay Reed says, I'm participating in that next week. We, and we have uh, we have uh, Jeff Wood is saying that, uh, you know, she built that huge fence. Everybody knows there's something wrong going on here. Everybody knows that this isn't the America that we grew up in, that we, were, that we learned about in the history books. And now they're changing the history books. You know, it's not enough that they are trying to mess us up now, they're trying to take our history away. The Founding Fathers, the Constitution, economics and finance. They don't want to teach that. They want to teach other stuff. They want to teach this progressive movement stuff. I'm telling you right there, you got to be vigilant. You got to be plugged in. But we have to be just as vigilant with the rhinos, with the people that are the establishment elite that want to be quote unquote moderate, that want to sell us out on the Republican side. I'm not saying don't vote Republican. I think you basically have to vote with, with some very few exceptions. And I haven't fully, we're not saying what we're going to do. We haven't fully figured it out. I've voted Republican all my life. And I think right now you've got to go straight down the ticket Republican. You've got to keep voting these people out, the rhinos in the primaries. There may be some special occasions where you just can't back, uh, you know, a, a person that's a Republican because of how the process went down or, or where they're at or whatever like that. We are not going to discuss that right now. We're going to look at that as a case-by-case -case basis. But I'm saying as a major, major operation, you have to vote against every single Democrat. You've got to flush them out at the ballot box. You've got to get rid of them. That's the only chance we have 
at having some kind of success. And then we have to hold the Republicans' feet to the fire. And th th I'm telling you right now, November 3rd, election 2010, it's not the end, it's just the beginning. And if you want to plug in and you want to be where it's at, you got to get with conservative new media. Here's how you do it. You go to YouTube. You plug in conservative new media media you see our channel you have subscribed to it right now you get our videos you post them on your facebook you put them out there on twitter then you sign up for our mailing list you sign up on on our facebook you sign up on my facebook john d villarreal google our names get involved be aware out there i want to thank our guest this week sharon angle running for senate in nevada amy sis kind of the new agenda out there keeping the people honest and peter ferrera of the american spectator fantastic you guys have a great weekend. You're listening to John D. Villarreal on the conservative new media radio network. I love you guys, and we will see you next week. Be good out there.